In this video, we finish up the destination address component by using Google Maps Geocoder to provide a list of destinations for our pickup car. So I'll start by implementing the onSubmit for our input form in our template. And I'll create an instance of the Google Maps Geocoder. And I'll create a class variable to store the results from the geocoder. And I'm going to pass in the value of the input as the address property to geocode. And if we get a successful response, we're going to store the top four destinations in the results array. And if for some reason we weren't able to find the destination, we'll let the user know that there were no destinations that matched that input. And I'll reset the results each time the user enters a new destination. Now let's get back to the template and show the results to the user so that the user can select one. We're going to use an ng4 loop for this and the format is let item of collection to iterate through the items. But currently in this beta version it uses the hashtag format. So if you're using a later version of Angular 2 and Ionic 2 then you'll probably be using the let format instead. So if the user clicks on the item, we'll call this select destination method. So let's go back to our controller and implement this method. We'll pass in the destination, and the first thing we'll do is clear the results to get them out of the way of the map. And then we'll set the input to the name of the formatted address that we selected. And then we'll use our output event emitter to pass that destination longitude and latitude to the parent home page. And if you recall, the handler in the home page sets the destination as the instance variable destination. So let's pass that as an input to our map. And then from our map, we're going to pass it down to our pickup marker and our pickup car. We could probably simplify this by creating another custom publish subscribe service that allows the different components to subscribe to changes in the destination. But we'll leave this for now and we'll detect changes in the destination using the on changes implementation at the component level. So when we receive the pickup destination and the pickup component, we're going to remove the pickup marker because we're now in the car heading towards our destination. And in the pickup car component, if there's not a destination, then we want to handle the requesting and removing of the car. But if there is the destination requested, then we want to switch from pickup mode to drop off car mode. And that's going to be a new service method we'll need to add to our car service. Fortunately, most of the functionality has already been written for the request car method. So we'll pass in the starting and ending location. And then since the car marker has already been created and we already have the polyline available, all we really need to do is keep updating the car's position as it heads from our pickup location to our destination. So we'll just pass the callback for being dropped off this time to our update car method. And we'll implement that next to our check for rider pickup method. 
and just copy and paste that over since the implementation will be very similar. But this time we'll be emitting the drop off. So now let's go implement this method in our car service and our simulation service. So in our car service, we accept the starting and ending location as the pickup and drop off locations respectively. And then we'll forward this information on to our simulation service to get back an observable for our component. And I'll implement this next to the fine pickup car since the implementation will be very similar. Essentially, we'll just be reusing the simulate route method that we already implemented. And that's basically all we have to do to now simulate being dropped off. So now all that's left is to handle the drop-off event. So we'll add this case to our home controller and add a method for when the rider is dropped off. In this method, we need to reset our app back to the state where the rider can request to be picked up again. So I'm going to set is rider pickup defaults. And I'll also set is pickup request to defaults, and I'll set the destination to null. And I'll reset the time till arrival placeholder. And I also noticed a little typo in our destination address. Formatted address was spelled wrong. So if you just fix that, we should be good to go. And now if we test our app, once the writer is dropped off, we'll go back to the original state of our app. 